Hi guys, Martek here. Welcome. This video shows you how to make one of the easiest, yet still nice looking rope mats. The main supply for our project is the rope. In my case I'm using jute, but you can also use hemp, cotton, manila, sisal, whatever you have. Artificial ropes can also be used. The rope that I'm using here is a quarter inch jute rope. You're going to need two pieces of rope, a longer one 18 feet long and a shorter one 8 feet long. We will be finishing our project with a side splice. To do the splice I highly recommend using some sort of a fed, a regular wooden fed or a Swedish fed. I usually use a couple of pins to hold my mat in place while I'm tying it. They are optional, but recommended. The final two supplies are going to be some tape as well as scissors. I'm going to start my mat with the longer out of my two strands. So this one is 18 feet long. I'm going to fold my piece of rope in half. At the middle point, I'm going to form a loop, optionally pin it down. I'm going to leave this right end off to the side. With the left end, I'm going to line up an additional 5 loops. Try to make your loops about the same size. So, a total of 6 loops. At this point the two ends meet up here and we're going to use them to double up, triple up, then quadruple our mat. For now check your loops, they should be about the same size. Take one of your ends Use it to follow the other end through the mat. When you run out of a rope in one of your ends, take the other one, so this one here, use it to follow the other end.
When you run out of rope in both of your hands, we're going to introduce the second strand, so the short one. With my second, shorter piece of rope, which in my case is 8 feet long, I'm going to run a circle through my loops. As you can see, I'm doing an over one, under one sequence. So over under, over under, over under, and so on. I'm going to run about half of my rope with one end, about half with the other. Like this. After using up all four ends, it's time to adjust our mat into the final shape. The number one objective here is that we have four passes through the entire mat. The second piece of rope here has both ends meeting up under this section. It has four passes through the entire mat. The first piece of rope has the ends here and they're not meeting up under a section. So this part here, as you can see, only has three passes. So I need to get this end or this one closer to the other end. Essentially meeting either under here or under here. So I'm going to adjust my mat. Let's say that I'm going to finish up under here. I'm going to go through the mat, picking up slack, running the slack through the mat into the other end. I can now finish the mat. I have four passes here, four passes here. I'm going to finish the four ends using a side splice. To do this, turn your mat around. On the bottom side, find two spots which are hidden from the top. Let's say these two ends are going to be finished here, hidden under this section here. These two ends are going to be hidden under this section here. For the splice, you're going to need a couple of inches.
your strands are going to be woven through the existing passes like this. And here, something like this. Let's start with two of the ends. Take the bottom one, unravel it. Up to the start of this top section, which is going to hide the splice. Take one of the ends, run it through the three passes like this. Take the next strand, run it alongside the first one. So again, to do the three passes. Do the same thing with the final strand. So through the three passes. Turn your mat around. Unravel the other end. Again. like this. We need to work the first two ends to do the three passes and the final one is going to go alongside this one here, so the one from the other end. One, two, three. So the first one goes here. The second one alongside the first one. the third one alongside a strand from the other end. Completing our side splice. Secure each of the ends by pulling on it. Trim the ends. Do the same thing with the other two ends. After doing both side splices, your mat is complete. Optionally, burn off the stray fibers for a cleaner look. Our tutorial is at an end. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.